Welcome to example program and in this video we will see how we can write a Java program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. So what exactly is a prime number? A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which is only divisible by 1 and the number itself or in other words we can say that a prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has only two factors one and the number itself. For example, if you look at the number three, then the factors of this number three are one and three. So, so this number three is a prime number. And similarly, if you look at the number seven, then the factors are one and seven. So it is a prime number. Now, if you have a natural number greater than one, and if it is not a prime number, for example, let's take a look at the number six, then the factors are one, 2, 3 and 6. If we have a natural number greater than 1 and if it is not a prime number then we call it as a composite number. Here this 6 is not a prime number because it has the factors other than 1 and the number itself or this number 6 is completely divisible by the numbers other than 1 and the number itself so it is a composite number. Similarly the number 10 where we have the factors like 1, 2, 5 and 10. So this 10 is a composite number. Now one thing that we have to see here is that is if we have the number let's say 1 then the factors of this number 1 is 1 and it will not satisfy the rule of the prime number because for a number to be a prime number it should have two factors but this number 1 has only one factor and it will not satisfy the rule of a composite number. For a number to be a composite number it should have more than two factors and it has only one. So this number 1 is neither prime nor composite. So now let's see how we can write the Java program for this. So here I have already written some code. I have created the package called as prime and I have imported the scanner class from the util package so that we can take the input from the user by using the scanner class and then I have created the class called as prime and uh, here we have the static void main method which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. Now here uh, what we're going to do is we can ask the user to enter the number to check for prime or composite and the user can enter a negative number, 0, 1 or a number greater than 1. So we will check for all these conditions and we will display the appropriate message. If the user is going to enter 0 or a negative number then we will say you need to enter a number greater than 1 and if the user is going to enter 1 then we will say 1 is neither prime nor composite and if the number entered by the user is greater than 1 then we will check whether the number entered by the user is the prime number or the composite number. So here first let us declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. As I said before we will be taking the input from the user. So to store the user input we need a variable and let's call it as number. Now how we are going to write this program is in the beginning we assume that whatever the number that the user is going to enter it is a prime number. If the number entered by the user is greater than 1 then we will start finding the factors of the number entered by the user. So if we find a factor other than 1 and the number itself then it means that the number entered by the user is not a prime number it's a composite number. If we don't find any factors for the number entered by the user then that means that the number entered by the user is a prime number. So here in the beginning we assume that the number entered by the user is a prime number and uh, what we do is we create a boolean variable and I'm gonna call it as is prime and we will set it to true indicating that the number entered by the user is prime number. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this scanner class. So I'm gonna write scanner and the name I'm gonna give for this object is input equal to new scanner and here we need to pass in the input stream and we can do that by writing system.in. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use the system.out.println method and here I'm going to specify the message enter the number. 
Now, after seeing this message, the user is going to enter the number and we will read that number by using the input object that we have created. So I'm going to use the input object and we will use the method next int. So it will read an integer value and it will return that and we will store that in the number variable that we have created. So now we have the number entered by the user for checking for prime or composite. Now in this program, we are not going to take an input from the user. So we will close the scanner by calling the close method using the input object. Okay. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to check what the user has entered, whether he has entered a number zero or negative number one or a number greater than one. So we will check for that by writing the condition if and we will check the value stored in the number variable, whether the number variable is containing a value less than one. That means that user has entered zero or a negative number. And for this situation, we will display a message number needs to be greater than one. And after that, we will use else if and we will check whether the user has entered the number one or not. So we will do that by writing the condition whether the number variable is containing the value one or not. In that case also, we will display the message saying that one is neither prime nor composite. And after that, if the user has entered a number greater than one, then we will check the factors for the number entered by the user. So what we do is we start dividing the number entered by the user from two. So we will take the number and we will start dividing it from two. That's because we already know that one is the factor of this number entered by the user. And also whatever the number that the user has entered, that number is also the factor of that number. So we will start it from two and we will check what we get as the reminder value when we divide the number entered by the user by two. If we get the reminder as zero, then it means that two is the factor of this number entered by the user. So if that happens, then it means that the number entered by the user has a factor other than one and the number itself. So it is not a prime number and we will display that message to the screen. And if we get the reminder as a non zero value, then that means two is not the factor of the number entered by the user. So we will go to the next number and we will do the same thing. We will check the reminder value when we divide the number entered by the user by three and uh, if it is uh, zero, then it means number is not prime else we go to the next number and we will uh, do this process. And now the question is how long we have to continue uh, this uh, process. Now let's say if we have the number 10, then the range of numbers that can be the factors of this number 10 are from one to five. We can easily say that six, seven, eight, nine can't be the factors or these six, seven, eight, nine can't divide the number entered by the user completely. And then of course, 10 will do it, but we already know that we know that number one and the number itself will divide it completely. So we are not going to check for that. So the possible range of values which can divide this number 10 are from two to five. And this maximum range five here is actually half of this number 10. So, um, so here, uh, we will continue this process until we reach number divided by two value. So after reaching this value, still we don't find any numbers, which, uh, which is a factor of the number entered by the user. Then it means that the number entered by the user is a prime number in the middle. If somewhere we find a factor, then it means that the number entered by the user is a composite number. So here, what we do is we will use a for loop. And let me create a loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as divisor. I'm going to initialize this with a very, with a value of two. That's because we will start from two. We already know one will divide it. And how long we want to continue this for loop. We want to continue this for loop until we reach a value, which is uh, less than or equal to number divided by two. So here we will have number divided by two. And after that, we will increment the value of the divisor variable. Now here inside this for loop, we will check the reminder value when we divide the value stored in the number variable by the value stored in the divisor variable. So 
we can do that by writing number modulus operator divisor. So here we are checking what we get as the reminder value when we divide the value stored in the number variable by the value stored in the divisor variable, whether that is zero or not. If that is zero, then it means that the value in this divisor variable is a factor of the number entered by the user. So the number is not a prime number. So we will change the Boolean variable or the flag that we have set in the beginning and we will make it as false indicating that the number is not the prime number. And once we know that the number is not the prime number, we can stop checking here. We can stop this for loop and we and for that purpose, we will use the break statement in here. Now, if we get the reminder as a non zero value in here, then this if condition will fail, it will not execute anything. So the for loop will continue with the next iteration and it will continue to do that uh, till we reach number divided by two value. Now, once we come out of this for loop by checking out the value stored in this is prime variable, we can say whether the number entered by the user is prime or not. And we can do that by writing the if conditional statement here. And we will check whether the is prime variable is containing a value which is true. In that case, we will display the message. I'm going to use the printf function in here so that I can format this string. Percentage D is a prime number and we will provide the value for this placeholder by specifying the value of this number variable. If the is prime variable is containing false, then we will say um, number is a composite number. Okay, now here we have uh, written the program. Let's run this. Enter the number. I'm going to enter negative four. It says number needs to be greater than one. Run it one more time. This time I'm going to enter one. It says one is neither prime nor composite. Run it one more time. This time I'm going to enter three. Three is a prime number. Run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter eight. Eight is a composite number. So our program is working properly. So this is how you guys can write a Java program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.